Hi there, my name is Kobe Kingstrud and going swimming while trans can be a pretty tricky thing uh, because more often than not when you go swimming there is quite a lot of body showing. Uh, so I have compiled this list of tips specifically for female to male transgender people because that is what I have experience with. Uh, but naturally these tips could also work for non-binary people, tomboys or anyone who is or who were assigned female at birth who would like to look a bit more masculine on the beach. Uh, also I had to write a script for this video and my iPad is right there so sorry if like I don't look into the camera lens throughout this whole entire video. Okay let's get started. Let's start from the bottom and make our way up or maybe not like the very very bottom as in like feet but actually I do have a tip for that if you have very small feet like me I'm a UK size like four and a half in men's and US size five which is a European size 37 very very small I guess you could wear those like um what are they called uh, swim fins yeah because then it wouldn't like show that you're very small feet uh, there's a tip right there for you. I don't know if that helps, but there you go. You could also wear Crocs because no one would want to look down and stare directly at something as disgraceful as Crocs. So no one would notice you had small feet. Anyway, let us get on to swimming trunks because that's useful because you don't want to walk around naked. It's not legal everywhere, even if you want to. Okay, anyway, so these are my brother's shorts just to demonstrate. So I would say don't wear shorts that are very short bright in color and kind of puffy in a sense as that will definitely bring out your hips more instead go for longer straighter shorts i like mine black personally uh something that pockets are very nice as they're less puffy in the hip area and board shorts specifically those that like surfer dudes wear they are they are very nice sorry about the accent now over to Packing, which is something that I don't usually do. Uh, I do it sometimes, which is really rare, but I've never done it at the beach because I don't really experience that much bottom dysphoria. Plus, I've never experienced that someone like looks at my crotch, sees that there's not a bulge there, and like says I'm not a guy or something like that. But if you experience dysphoria, that's obviously something that you can't control. And um, if you would like to pack at the beach, here are some tips for you that I found. So, first off, Make sure that you use a packet that would be able to survive being underwater without being damaged. Uh, I read somewhere that silic silicon packets are preferable for this, but most commercial soft packets should be fine. Uh, but they may feel kind of gross and sticky when wet. Uh, so uh, I read somewhere that it was recommended to dust them with like corn flour or corn starch or whatever to like get rid of that gross texture. Uh, you also need to make sure that it won't fall out of your trunks as you swim and have an innocent child be scarred for life. Uh, so you can keep it in a speedo or tight underwear under your trunks uh, and just wear that or uh, do, do, do. what you should do is at least keep it in a little pocket or pouch type thing or a sock and make sure that it doesn't touch your skin that much because that can lead to a UTI, which is not great. Also, some companies make special swimming trunks uh, for packing. Um, for example, Underworks or Transwear. I don't know how to pronounce that, but there's a Z in there after trans. Now over to binding at the beach. Uh, so some binders you can actually wear while swimming, but I would check with the company your binder is from beforehand, just to be sure that you don't accidentally damage it too much. Uh, I wouldn't recommend wearing a brand new one as salt water and chlorine might damage it a little bit. So maybe if you have an old kind of stretched out one, then that's better. Also, I'd recommend wearing a size bigger than your usual size, and this is because the fabric might get a bit tighter when wet. Also, because it is especially important to breathe when you are swimming, uh, and also, you're not supposed to uh, exercise in a binder in the first place, so just make sure that, like, you don't, you don't, you know, like, pass out or something, because that's not good. This binder is a half length one from DC2B, which you can swim in, and this colour specifically is number 4 in the nude collection, and if you feel comfortable, you can walk around at the beach in just a pair of swimming trunks and a half length one like this one, or a full length one like this one, 
um, if you want to hide your stomach a little bit. But I personally don't like to do that because it's very tight around my hips and I don't like that part of myself accentuated. Um, and also, if you don't have a binder, you can wear one or several sports bras. Um, just make sure to not do anything dangerous and follow regular binding etiquette. I hate wearing sports bras for the record. This is yucky. I, ugh, I hate the feeling of one of these. Jeez. Okay. What I usually wear at the beach is a black shirt that is slightly oversized, uh, preferably with some kind of design on the front or printed on the front, because one, that draws the attention away from my actual chest, and two, it actually makes the fabric a bit thicker and firmer so it won't shape around my chest as easily, and the fabric itself, to start with, also needs to be pretty thick. I usually don't wear a binder underneath, so it does feel very uncomfortable when I get out of the water and it's all like stuck to my chest and I have to pull on it and it makes that kind of sound. If you feel kind of weird about swimming in a regular shirt, you can wear one that is of a material made for sports and exercise, or you can wear a vest. This one is also of a sporty material, I actually bought it at H&M last year, they probably still have it in, uh, and I like to tuck this into my shorts, just so that it will stay in place more, um, because I'm afraid that if it doesn't stay in place, it might reveal things on the, like, holes underneath my armpit on, on each side. Um, and as you can tell, it's not completely flat, which can be very uncomfortable unless I'm feeling particularly confident that day. So I do prefer to wear one of these that is made of a regular shirt material, as I feel like that is kind of... It, it's not as soft, and it doesn't stick to my chest as much as the exercise material does. Uh, and I actually wore this on my recent trip to Spain, but I did put on some tape underneath just in case things would show from like a side view. And here's a little vlog about how I how I did it and how I felt about it. I like taped my chest today, uh, and I it looks kind of weird when I'm shirtless because I taped it to be flat when I'm wearing a shirt and not to like walk around with, and I didn't want to do the like. Uh, I didn't want to do the technique where you pull it back because I was wearing a vest so then you'd see it on the sides um, But I just want to say that this tape worked really well I went swimming three different times at the beach and then one more time when I got home in the pool and It's like it's not even falling off a little bit like this is from this is from this morning It's not even falling off a little bit. So that's really cool. Okay, hi, I'm back. It's been a few hours. And as you can see, uh, I turned really red. So I'm gonna read the instructions to see if you're supposed to take it off in a specific way. Cause if I had sensitive skin, then this would have really messed up my skin. I mean, I'm red now. Speaking of which, I'm also red on my shoulders. Surprise. I got a sunburn. Believe it or not, it was actually my doctor that recommended this specific tape to me. Uh, I've seen some trans guys online use KT tape for binding, and I actually made a video on that a year ago or so, uh, which got like 100,000 views, but I took it down because I heard that you could get infections f from it and stuff, um, and I didn't want to like spread. Can you hear that? I didn't want to spread information that could potentially harm someone, but my doctor again said that this should be fine. Um, but you're probably not supposed to rip it off like I did, because as you could tell, um, I, you know, it damaged my skin a little bit. So I would recommend actually like reading uh, the instructions for how to take it off before you do so, because I think that's what my doctor wanted me to do. But at least you said that it should be safe to like wear it for a little bit and like breathe in it. But uh, don't wear it for too long, because don't don't find it for too long in general. That's a general rule. Another thing that my doctor said, which I found really sweet, was that um, if you're just lying down, like, flat on your stomach, or even flat on your back, and just, like, chilling, tanning, don't worry too much about binding and hiding your chest, because it's most likely fine, because when you lie down, it's like, anyway, you know. Uh, and also, some guys have man boobs, you know, they're all kinds of bodies at the beach, uh, and people probably don't notice it as much as you think they do, so like, 
it's okay, you're okay. That's at least what my doctor said. I'm not trying to invalidate your dysphoria, new feelings and stuff, obviously, but I thought that was very sweet. It was like, ah, oh, thanks doc. You're, you're a good person. Cheers. Another tip, which is probably my favorite one, is to wear a rash guard or a surf shirt, or even a full bodysuit and bind underneath that. This looks way more normal, in a sense, at the beach or in a swimming pool, as opposed to a regular shirt, which isn't even allowed at some public pools. I personally prefer wearing a rash guard and swimming trunks over a bodysuit though, as I feel like the bodysuit really accentuates my hips because it's very, it's very tight on my body, but it's all about personal preference. Uh, and also, if you can't bind, but also can't not bind without your chest showing, you can always wear a life jacket or life vest. These do a very great job at hiding your chest as they're, they're very big. And you can wear a fancy one, and not one of those bright orange ones for kids. Unless you want to do that, then that's cool too. But if you don't want to attract too much attention, you can wear one that looks a bit more cool and professional. Now, there are some binders that are made specifically for swimming, and I've actually seen lots of companies who have those. Um, but although they seem to work very well for binding, I've never actually bought one myself, uh, because they seem to fit around the hips just like a regular binder does. So I would probably feel insecure and dysphoric because I have pretty big hips, and wear a shirt over it anyway. However, there is a company called Heroni binders, they're from Taiwan, I'm not completely sure how to pronounce the name, but Heroni, I think, it's on the screen, uh, and they sent me their quick drying zipper swimsuit top. Uh, and I just want to thank them so much for that, because I am not exaggerating when I say that that kind of like saved my summer. I haven't been in the water like I have this summer for years, especially not at like a public beach. Uh, and for the record, that was actually the, um, uh, the uh, example I used for rash guard, that was actually the binder that they sent me. So I guess you could see how I felt comfortable and confident in that because I felt like I looked pretty good in it, not gonna lie, and it made me happy. And not just like feel okay at the beach, which I in the first place didn't even think was possible, but I actually felt confident. Because not only did it hide my chest, it like made my hips kind of disappear, it made my body look more like sporty I suppose, and hid my stomach that I'm very insecure about. Um, so it was a great time. <laughs> So, first off, it's really easy to put on. It has this wide elastic band type thing inside the top, which is what does the actual binding, rather than the binding part being the fabric of the shirt itself. Sewn onto this are two straps that you wear over your shoulder, just to make sure that the elastic band will be held in place over your chest. So to put it on, you just need to make sure that your arm has gone through the strap before putting it through the sleeve of the actual shirt. Then you just zip up the zipper and that's it. With regular binders, especially when they're wet, it can be very tricky to take it off because you need to pull it over your head, but with this one you just have to unzip it and you're done. And for the record, I haven't experienced this unzipping by itself as that would be a disaster. So I was a bit skeptical to how it would fit around my hips, but honestly in my opinion, I feel like it makes my upper body look straight, and this also includes when it's wet. It dries very quickly, and I was surprised at how cool it kept me while I was in Spain, despite being tight and the sleeves being long. It also was very practical, as it covered my shoulders, which were pretty burnt after day one, as you can probably see in an earlier clip. Uh, I walked around in this all day, every day, because I felt like I looked so sporty in it, which might be weird, but I actually just felt really confident in it. Um, also, here's some fish videos from when I went swimming, because I went swimming all the time. Yeah, and that hasn't happened in years, which is cool, okay. I wore this with swimming trunks that I once again pulled over the shirt, because I felt like my hips showed even less than. But this swimsuit actually came in a full set, with a swimming hat and a pair of shorts. So the company doesn't only make products specifically for trans guys, but for anyone assigned female at birth. You'd like to bind the chest and have a more masculine expression. Also, yes, that those are the shorts. Uh, personally, though, I'll stick to my regular swimming trunks. But, you know, it's still cool. I just feel like this goes really well together, you know? Like, I feel like these sunglasses could only work with this. Need to look. Here's just Duffin being adorable. Ah, I love dogs. So, if you want to get something from Heroni Binders, uh, you can go to the website and use the coupon code COVID10OFF 
uh, you will get 10% off any swimwear that you may wish to buy or you could go to Amazon because they're on there as well but there there's no coupon code but there is free shipping which is pretty great as well and uh, both links will be in the description also thought I would pop by to tell you to uh, use the specific size chart on their website if you are getting anything from them do not use the same size that you use uh in the binder you're currently wearing if you're wearing a binder or using a binder or from from whatever company that you may already have a binder from use their specific sizing chart and the the sizes are pretty small so i would even recommend going a size up um for my uh swimming top thing although i love it so so much i had to make a few adjustments because it was very tight i actually had to make a few cuts uh, and a few holes and stuff in the uh or on the elastic band inside of the uh, top which is why i'm very glad that the binding thing isn't like the the fabric of the top itself but the like elastic band on the, in, on the inside because then i can make a few adjustments and uh do some snips. Uh, so yeah, now you know. Also, obviously, uh, if if you're doing that and you get it, you get the um, swimming suit thing, and you cut a few holes. Don't like cut the whole thing off, which you probably understand. Uh, but just thought I would put it in there. Like if you want to make it a bit like wider or stretchier, don't cut the whole thing in in two because then it won't bind anymore. I, I don't think you're stupid, I just thought I would say it just in case, because sometimes I do stupid things and I'm like, whoops, and I don't realise until after I've done it why it's so stupid, so just like make a few holes and a few cuts. Okay. <laughs> and also one last thing that I thought I could throw into this video is that I am on a testosterone gel called Tostron, or Tostron, uh, which I apply in the morning and then you're supposed to uh, let it sit for a certain amount of hours before like the skin that you applied it to being in contact with water because you might wash it off and it takes some time to absorb and i actually asked my doctor about this because i knew that i would be going to the beach every single day very early in the day and that it wouldn't be able to absorb properly and my doctor told me to just apply a little bit more when i got home from the beach and that it was better for me to have my testosterone levels be a little bit higher for a week than to drop um, but that is just what my doctor said thought I could put it in here but just to be sure you should probably ask your doctor before doing that and like ask how much more you should apply uh, later in the day after going to the beach and stuff or if you should apply more at all so I really hope you liked this video and found it helpful if you did Give it a thumbs up and if you have any more tips that you would like to share with anyone who may come across your tip, you can leave that in the comments. That's very nice of you. And also if you have any like ideas for videos that you want me to make, you can also leave that in the comments. If you would like to see more of my awkward little face, you can subscribe to this channel and I will hit you with a new video when the time comes. I'm a bit busy this summer. Uh, believe it or not, I actually have stuff to do, so my uploading schedule isn't at its best right now, but that's okay. Uh, and also, feel free to share these tips with someone you think may need them. Uh, and uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a brilliant day today, and that you are enjoying your summer. Unless you are in Australia, then I hope you're enjoying the colder season. Stay safe and eat drink, and do not hurt yourselves, and remember that you are so much more than you could ever realize. Seriously, uh, take care and stay kind, both to yourself and others, and stay confident. It's all about confidence at the beach, or by the pool, or in general. And you're great, you look great, so don't worry about it. Okay, goodbye! Bye! Ketchup, anyone? It's perfect for a hot dog.